If you've completed the basic chromatic sequences in the book and you feel that your fingers still need to stretch more, here is a very simple yet very effective exercise for increasing your flexibility. Alright, this exercise is going to take place along the third string and your index finger is going to be situated at the fifth fret right here on the third string. Okay, this exercise is very easy, just keep your hand relaxed. Alright, so the way this works is the first example, I'm just using my index finger, my first finger, and then my middle finger, my second finger. And what I'm going to do is while keeping my index finger planted, I'm going to play these consecutive notes while stretching up the fretboard just using these two fingers. Here's how it works. So I'll play with index finger, then second finger, index finger, stretch the second finger, index finger again, stretch the second finger, then go back down. And so what I'm effectively doing is I'm working with both a stretching and then a compression of the fingers. So we're expanding and then compressing. And what you'll notice is my index finger, as I'm stretching up, my index finger is actually straightening out. So it's almost as if I'm stretching back this way. I want to try to avoid this type of stretch because that just becomes very, very difficult. We get a real big bend in the wrist not very comfortable at all. So if we try to keep the wrist as straight as we can, just nice and relaxed, and then as a finger moves up the fretboard, we try to keep that index finger a little bit straighter like that. Let's do that exercise again. So index, middle, index, stretch with the middle, and try to get one more. There we go. Now also, as I'm playing that exercise, make sure that you keep your thumb nice and relaxed. Don't, don't press it into the back of the fretboard. Just keep it very, very relaxed. The, the word for this exercise is relaxation. All right, let's move on to the second exercise. This is going to use the index finger and your third finger, so first and third fingers. So it'll start off compressed, so both the first and third finger will be one fret apart from each other and then we're going to stretch this as high as we can we're going to try to get all the way to the ninth fret okay now that's that's a very difficult stretch right there and so if it hurts to do that if you can't get anywhere close that's okay don't kill yourself you can always do these exercises at a higher place on the fretboard you can do them in the seventh fret you can do them the, all the way to the twelfth fret because the fret spacing is much closer together. Uh, simply for purposes of demonstration, I'm doing this at the fifth fret, but if you need to do it higher or if you want to go even lower where the frets are really spaced out uh, to get, get even more work in, you can certainly do that. Alright, so let's do the second exercise. So it's going to be index finger and third finger. Here we go. So index finger, third finger, index finger, third finger, just keep stretching it up, just try to get the knife, ooh that one's tricky, okay so that's that's the second one, the next one is going to be with still our index finger planted we're going to use our pinky, our fourth finger, again we're going to start a half step up so it's going to be at the sixth fret and we're going to try to get this all the way to the twelfth fret alright that's going to be a really really tricky stretch but let's see how far we can go alright so we've got index finger fourth finger and here's where the stretching starts Alright, so again, when you get up really high, if that starts to hurt, if that's really difficult, 
don't go so far, okay? You just want to feel a little bit of stretch and then come back down. All right, so the next one, we're going to keep the index finger still planted, but this time we're going to put down our second finger, and this is going to be a stretch moving from your second finger and your third finger. Now, this is a really difficult stretch simply by nature of how the third finger is connected back here in the hand. It doesn't like to stretch on its own like that. So, uh, this can take some extra work to, to get used to. And so we're gonna keep the index finger and middle finger, fingers one and two planted. And then the third finger, we're simply going to try to get one stretch right there up to the eighth fret. One stretch right there. Okay, let's try that. So second finger, third finger. Second finger, stretch with the third finger. And in the fifth position, again, that might be tricky. You can do it up in a higher position where the frets are closer together. All right, let's move on to the next exercise. All right, so we're still going to have our index finger and second finger planted. And this time, we're stretching uh, from the second finger to the fourth finger. And we're going to try and go all the way up to the 11th fret. We'll see if we can do it. It's going to be tricky. All right, so index and second finger planted. So second finger, pinky. Second finger, pinky. Stretch is difficult. Oh, I had to pick up a finger. I failed. But I can definitely get to the 10th fret right there. Let's try that one more time and see how high we can go. And of course, if you have smaller hands, move it up. If you have bigger hands, move it back down. Let's try that. So index fingers one and two planted. Yeah, that's a very tricky stretch, very tricky. So go as high as you can go. And again, if there's pain, please refrain. It sounds cheesy, but it's so true. All right, let's go ahead and take a look now at uh, the last exercise, we're going to keep index, middle, and ring finger down. Fingers one, two, and three, those will be down. And this exercise is simply going to be stretching between the third finger and the fourth finger, your pinky. And so I'm going to try and get that all the way up to the uh, tenth fret right there. All right, so index finger, middle, and ring finger down. So it's going to be third finger, fourth finger, third finger. Fourth finger, third finger, fourth finger. And then just come back down. Okay, now with all of these exercises, some of them you might find to be a little bit easier than others, especially the ones where you're stretching between uh, fingers one and two, because those are your strong fingers. Fingers three and four being your weaker fingers, those stretchers are going to be a little bit more difficult. Play around with this exercise. Try it higher on the neck, try it lower on the neck, and get to where you can get these stretches comfortable. A lot of these stretches um, you might not necessarily use in a song that we're playing, but getting that stretch and exercising those muscles can really help your dexterity for anything that you're working on. So there it is. A very simple and highly effective exercise for stretching out your fingers. Be sure to check out MetalGuitarMethod.com for more lessons to enhance your playing.